What is up, Gun Gundam Lover 254 fans? It is me, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the, um, give it a sec, <coughs> of the, uh, uh, I believe it's Ultra Class Optimus Prime from the Cybertron line. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this thing is old. This thing is ancient. But I got it off of eBay because my friend had the trailer and did not have the cab. But I wanted the entire thing for myself. So. I got a complete one. It's got the gun and everything. Hell, it even came with the Cypher Planet key. It's a little worn out, but still. Anyhow. So, yes. I'm going to use MGO's title by calling it a big honking um, murder truck. Yeah, that's what this is. It's a murder truck. But a whole Because, of course, you never see a fire truck with giant cannons. And the best part. And they sound effects. So. This part is that there's a sound when you take the key out. Which is... hmm. There you go. So, let's have a blind and keep this. So, now let's. let's yeah, that, that's, that's truck mode. Now, if you all saw the show, you know that he also has. Jet mode, which I don't get, where it's literally just taking the size of the trailer, holding him out, and taking the guns forward. Boom. Optimus. Optimus, you have become a plane. I knew it would happen someday. And seeing as how that did happen in Transformers 4, where he now has jets in his feet. He has become a jet. So, yes, flying murder truck of death. Now then, let's get to transformation. Literally, the normal transformation is going to take off all this backpacky goodness set to the side. And then you have this. Now, this mold has been used. Not this one, the basic cab form. But has been sized down for like the what was it, I think it was the Menasaur. Give it a sec. The Menasaur mold from the Universe line. They sized down uh, Optimus Prime. But yes, this is his base karma. By the way, if you look at Mac, you see my latest project, the Master Grade High New Gundam, which I'm for college. I might be doing a video on. But still, anyhow, um. Yeah, let's get transforming them. So, first things first is you want to put the legs down, push the crotch piece in place, and you just want to stick the legs. Alright, and what you'll do, take these, his big honk and stomping feet, put them behind him. And you have, it's just his joints are really loose because the guy had them for a while, so really all I can do is just this. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. So, this, for the arms, literally just, well, first off, for the chest, take the sides, and you gather over the matrix holder. Second off, take the arms, take the cab, put it up, turn the wheels to the side, and out. Get them ready. Out. Up. Down. Side. Put them in. And then, do for the head is you simply just, simply just bob it up. Ooh, I am Malcolmus Prime. I am so awesome. Not. That's why I give him. Not the horns, but I just give him the faceplate because magic mushroom. <laughs> Anyhow, yes, this is optimal <clears throat> in his base form. Let me see if I can't get something to prop you up.
Bear with me. It's the tallest thing I have in the room at the moment. That would be the high news box. Anyhow, yes. Optimus Prime. Now, articulation wise, you have the full 360. You have 360 here. Only go about that far because you got the whole shoulder joint. Otherwise, it goes up. Go back. Got fingers, not all of them. Got fingers. Uh, no waist articulation. Um, legs go all the way back, and if you go straight all the way forward, and the articulation, you got this. And then he can do a really strange dance, where if you want, you can have him spin his leg all around. But yes. Now, special features. He does come with a matrix, mine did. But literally all you have to do is just push it down. And literally just fold them out. And just get your finger in there and roll it out. So it's a matrix. Now it's the Cybertron matrix, so it doesn't look all that great and doesn't open. Whereas the Masterpiece matrix probably does open. Yeah. So yes. Now now that you have that, it's time for super mode. So what you do is dip out the ears. That's it. Super mode. No, I'm joking. What you do for base mode is you just flip out the legs, push them back, push them forward, flip the foot down. So on this side, forward, back, up, down. Now, you grab all the glorious kibble. Let's see if I can't get him to stand up on his big stomping feet. It's just the wheels really get in the way. So, anyhow. Take this entire assembly. Rip this, rip this out. Now for this. Some people will do it where it's this. That's not so that way they go over his shoulders. I don't like that mode, so I just do it like the instructions told me. But it's like this. So, you know what I do is for the hell of it, I flip them back. I flip the guns up. Like for Savage Claw mode, which I will probably be showing next after this. Anyhow, so you want to just flip these up. And trailer's ready. Now for these, what you want to do is you just get it to the other side. <sighs> Break them apart. Now, each goes on the back of Optimus's leg. So now he really has big stomping feet. There. Now he can stand up. And then what you do is you literally just take the backpack. You slide it in under that. Under his shoulders. Then you just put them in. And there, you have Optimus in Super Mode. But the bad thing about mine is loose joints. So he does this every day. Fuck. Anyhow, well, that's the review. You're going to get a shot of Optimus laying down. If you're gonna be laying down, you're gonna at least do it in a manly fashion. Oh, I am Optimus Prime. I can't stand up. Arr, shoot the people. Shoot the people. <laughs> Anyhow, that is it for today, Gundam Liberty 254 fans. I'm probably gonna send another one. But it's either gonna be on. Evasion mode or. Lion mode. So, probably gonna be lion mode. Maybe will probably be next. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Gundam Lover 
two five four out.